What you see here is a pair of pants that are supposed to fit and actually be large on me. What you're going to learn is that over the course of time, not only did someone resize them so that they would fit me better, but now they've resized them again while I was in a bin to the point that they don't fit me. It is not anyone's right to do that to anyone in clothing. At the same time, the pants have been sprayed with something to make them turn brown. That was not a right of anyone who works in a garbage company or anyone who works in the community to do that. At this time, the culprits are sort of unknown, but they are known by other people. The people that know who have been doing this are aiding and abetting an assault. Assault is when you use a deadly weapon. Not at all. Assault can be that, but that's more mere violence. Assault is when you dispel some sort of a flying object at someone or their clothing. And there is assaults on people's clothing that is per based on people's religious beliefs or people's gender or people's sex or people's sexuality or people who are intelligent or people who have opportunities to do things that other people can't do. And they do these assaults out of jealousy and a way and a desire to ruin someone's clothing. So they can try to force upon them clothing that they prefer them in. I once had a little girl named Jane who was sort of kind to me, but I was also kind to her. I asked her to buy me a pair of pants. I sent her the actual link. She said she would do it, but instead, what did she do? She brought me a pair of pants of a color that I hate. She brought me a pair of straight legs that I would never wear. And openly, she's probably complained about it everywhere. That she was unable to follow the instructions. She was trying to be in control of an old man, and she was offensive in the process. I believe she's involved with this hate because I'm finding back in my bin something that I only gave to her and to a Chinaman. In the name of Christ, I tell you to stop. In the name of God, I tell you to wait. And in the name of every person in America, I'm telling you that what you are practicing is hate. Do not participate in hate crimes. Do not believe you have the right to school me. Do not believe you have the right to school anyone without their permission. It is true that we have relationships and we have conditions that change. But it is also true that we have responsibilities and accountabilities for our behavior that create love. Do not interfere with God's love in a community and do not interfere with God's love between people. When you interfered with the love of my life, you put yourself in a hate crime. Do not do that again. At this time, I'm going to communicate clearly that the Lord God above sees all things, knows all things, and can do all things with or without you. And that is true. If you are unfamiliar with what God can do, please pick up a fucking Bible or a Koran or something else that is talking about the Lord in the world or in this land, and you will learn something for yourself. In America, we have the right to read any religious material we like. We have the right to read about anything and anyone we wish, and openly, you have no right to be in control of a homeless man. You also have no right to be in control of my or anyone's clothing. You have no right to resize them, you have no right to discolor them, you have no right to ruin a manufacturer's approach to them, and you have no right to modify someone's property without their lawful permission. Am I making myself clear? Are you that stupid about your rights in this land? In America, we have the rights to ourselves, and you would not like any of this done to you or your children. So I encourage you to stop immediately, to repent to God, and to move yourself away from those who are encouraging you to do that. In America, we have rights, and if you're not lawfully here, that is on your life. If you are an abuser of American citizens, then you will get caught under the kindness of treason. And there is many actions and recourses for treason, but if you work in law enforcement, you are upholding the law not at all. You are, at the end of the day, reporting to the justice system, and the justice system has a pretty high officer that ends the day. Do not ever forget that. Do not embarrass the president's house. Do not embarrass the White House. Do not do so in the position of your company, and do not do so in the permission of your ideology about your personhood. Because you have no right to any other person. You have no right to enslave another person. You have no right to commandeer another person. You have no right to take another person. You have no right to rape another person. You have no right to shave another person. You have no right to paint another person. You have no rights to any other person but yourself.